there is something going on this week here in San Antonio called the Gong Short. So when we heard that, we we're like, well, we got to find out what that is all about. So we invited Jade Esteban Estrada here from the Gong Short to tell us a little bit more about it. What is it? The Gong Shorts is the fourth annual, like you said. It is just like the Gong Show. Mm -hmm. uh, you have films. It's a film competition, and the films are presented. And after three minutes, the audience has the opportunity to continue to hear the rest, or see the rest of the film, or not. And they can shout, Gong, or... Um, yay, and we had to find out which, like the vowel, like be, at first we were, it sounded, it was too similar, but we got it down. If we hear the all oh, gong, as oh, there we go. yay. Uh -huh. exactly, so I think we just got gong. Yeah, it was like, the, no, it's like the, the, I think it was the 70s when they had the gong show. Yeah, show. and it was so really. If you remember that same concept, but it's mm -hmm. for films that are, sh that are made by people here in San here, Antonio. Here, local filmmakers in San Antonio, Texas. And our producer, Kimberly Suta, um, borrowed the idea from uh, the gong shorts in Tucson, Arizona. They actually have a monthly event where they they do that, mm -hmm. and they it's wild, there's a lot of heckling, but uh, San Antonio is a new market for mm -hmm. film and whatnot, so uh, they, uh, we, we do it once a year, and we have rules, uh -huh. you know, so that people really leave with the, in my opinion, with the feeling of it being more like a festival, so mm -hmm. that the people are networking, so people are seeing new things. We have documentaries, we have dramas, we have comedies. Um, I'm a stand-up comic, so I know what it's like to get immediate feedback. To get gonged? All the time. <laughs> I know what it's like to get gonged. I know what it's like to feel that way. Me too. Film is an industry, and I imagine television is like this too, mm -hmm. is where you don't get that immediate mm -hmm. feedback. Mm -hmm. And so it's a kind of a new sensation for these kinds of artists. We want to show some clips from Absolutely. some of the movies. This is 120 pounds, and I believe that this was the winner from last year. Yes! Fantastic. Wonderful Again, film. by mm -hmm. Isabella Cabello, mm -hmm. and she's actually a Nisa Cinema film student. So proud of her, yes. And so you have all ages, all experience levels mm -hmm. of people putting together films for this contest. Again, and you've that's already... What in that, Leslie, that's what's interesting about it is because she is an Anissa student mm -hmm. or a graduate, I can't remember which, but she's competing with people who have been doing it for years and that is the reality of the business. Is that not? That's, that's how, fantastic. That's a, it's a wonderful mm -hmm. that's opportunity for people to get into this mix of an era where we're all about competitions. Yes, and we've got another clip we want to show. This is Besos by Veronica Rodriguez, and that's a beautiful shot. She's there. a beautiful filmmaker because this is all um, oh, still, uh, still animation, I believe it's called. Wow. And she a has a voice that's so soothing, and uh, it's really interesting to get into a situation where people are ready to gong, mm -hmm. but there are some films that are up there, and people are just in mid-popcorn, mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of just mesmerized and by the time it comes to you know decide whether to gong or not people are like no no we want more and it's really clear and obvious when the filmmaker has succeeded in engaging the audience and, and here's another film that's been in the competition deception by death of death I should say by Eddie Filan very funny film very funny film I remember the audience is really not what I this. would expect though deception of death yeah, but it was, uh, you know, kind of like a death becomes her, kind of like a, you know, death can be hilarious. It's October. We're going to have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, Blockbusters by Taylor Trash Productions as well. So you've already got your films for this year that are yes. going to be shown. But if you're a filmmaker and you're watching and saying, oh, I wish I could get my film in the competition, when, how do you do that for next year? Well, you go online and uh, you can go to, uh, to filmbaking.blogspot.com. Dot com and all the information is there. Uh, my website, my name is Jade, so it's getjaded.com, mm -hmm. has all the information there too. Uh, I've been doing this for four years now, so I'm kind of like getting in the loop. Mm -hmm. People throughout the year will come up to me and ask me about the gong shorts, and I say, yeah, here's the information. Because it is something where people might feel a little bit of trepidation whether they want to 
put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. But show business is all about putting yourself out there, for better or for worse, mm -hmm. and to get that, once again, immediate feedback in a market like San Antonio that's still kind of like a toddler mm -hmm. in this industry, it's priceless. Okay, we're running out of time, but it's October 2nd, yes. 7 o'clock mm -hmm. at the Alamo Draft House. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you just show up, get, be ready to have a good time. Will there be adult beverages, too? Uh, absolutely. Oh, that makes <laughs> the Alamo Draft House. <laughs> Even more rowdy. So, if you'd like to get more information, sounds like such a fun time. You can call this number, 725-2339. You can also go on Facebook and look for Gong Shorts to get more about this film festival. And if you go, you have to wear that lipstick. Oh, you like that. I will never lipstick. forgive you. Don't wear that lipstick again. It's fabulous. Okay, now I'm blushing. Jane, thank you so much. All right, come